Caroline Elderfield discover the fascinating history behind Harry Winston and the famous Hope Diamond Harry Winston's nickname the King of Diamonds is hardly surprising, given that the New York jeweler is thought to have owned at least a third of the world's most famous stones. Many were purchased in the rough and transformed into gems of legendary beauty. The best known, however, found its way into his hands already cut and came with a long and intriguing history. This was the notorious Hope Diamond. Mysterious origins today weighing 45.52 carats, the Hope Diamond is a rare wonder of nature, being not white but a magical deep blue. There are conflicting stories about its origin, but it is most likely to have been hewn from the Gokonda mines in southern India. Now extinct, these were the source of several exceptional gems, including the Koh Ur, part of the British crown jewels. Legend has it that the stone became known to the West only after being stolen from a temple, where it was protected by curse. Over the centuries its owners have enjoyed mixed fortunes, although modern science offers an alternative explanation about why this magnificent gem has attracted a reputation for bad luck. It displays unusual luminescence because of the tiny impurities, in this case boron atoms, that give so-called fancy diamonds the much sought-after colors. The result is that it glows a bright, unearthly red for some time after all visible light sources have been extinguished. A diamond fit for a king such matters would have likely been beyond the celebrated French gem merchant and adventurer Jean-Baptiste Tavernier when he acquired the stone in the middle of the 17th century. Then heart-shaped, it tipped the scales at more than 112 carats. There was only one possible buyer for such a treasure, King Louis XIV. Recut to 67.5 carats and named the French blue, it was hung on a piece of ribbon to be worn on ceremonial occasions. Louis XV was next to set about remodeling the diamond, commissioning an immense and elaborate pendant known as the Order of the Golden Fleece. But it was during the reign of Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette that its French associations came to an abrupt end. Stolen from the treasury during the revolution, it disappeared for almost 40 years. It next showed up in England and the collection of King George IV, upon whose it was purchased by Lord Philip Hope in 1830, when it assumed its current name. A diamond fit for a Great Dane American socialite Evelyn Walsh McLean purchased the Hope Diamond in 1911, attracted, rather contrarily, by the curse. I like to pretend the thing brings good luck, she said, and would hang it around the neck of her Great Dane Mike to wear at parties. When McLean's impressive collection of jewellery was put up for sale after her peaceful demise in 1947, the Hope Diamond was acquired by Harry Winston. Its beauty made it something he felt compelled to share, so from 1949 to 1953 it toured America as part of the Court of Jewels, which helped raise funds for local good causes. Such was the attention it attracted that Harry Winston then decided to donate the priceless jewel to the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. A triumph of hope over experience, perhaps, or in defiance of the course, he sent it to the museum by ordinary registered post. The Hope Diamond remains there today, casting its spell over 7 million visitors a year. Winston wishes express your love this season with the gift of exceptional fine jewelry and timepieces from Harry Winston. For more information, visit h-a-r-r-y-w-i-n-s-t-o-n, com Harry Winston by appointment.